What's up, aliens? We are back to some RDR2. Chapter St. Dean's, I think. Not too sure what chapter. Can't quite remember. But we are back. Clean, don't you? There you go. Beautiful. Hey there, girl. Now change the dual wielding. Yeah. Beautiful. I did one with uh, blue steel and one with gold. <laughs> nice. Right. We are going Antonio, Antonio, Antonio. We'll go to that one first. Hey there. Have you ever heard of a man called Angelo Bronte? Hmm, no. But fancy names like that? Maybe try the Bastille Saloon. Opposite okay. the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm trying to find a man named Bronte. You know the name? Bronte? No, don't think so. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Idiot. I sure hope you're kidding. Nope. Stick him up, cowboy. We didn't even get five <laughs> minutes. Uh, yeah, real funny, Dutch. <laughs> oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. What are you looking at? <laughs> Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Le Mans for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm a transplant, but I'm never leaving. Not unless we all get washed Hello? away. I'll get you in a second. Okay. Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they'd lucky to have us. If it Come wasn't for us, now. they'd probably have run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big? Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big? Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Yeah. Where can I find him? Oh. Well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I guess. Oh god, no, here we go. Oh, and friend, you will be careful now. 
Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Hey now. Where have you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives Bloody in a big bitch. house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. <laughs> Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Buenos dias, senor. Pardon. Okay, my girl. Good morning. Mm. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. Yeah. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Come on, man. Walking simulator. Qui sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. 
You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we... We most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly, you think you are better than everyone else. Ti adoro. Matte da bere sti uomini. Angelo Bron. Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Mm -hmm. Of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Come on, girl. Come on, then. Ah. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, yes, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? Nope. We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just... Get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. Must be in here. This way. Oh, great. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Arthur, 
Make sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. This place gives me the chills. Okay, I'll lead. You watch behind me. Shush. 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 Wait a sec. Hold on. Quiet. Stop. Shh, hold up. I think I heard something. What? Either the dead are waking up, or somebody's trying to wake them. Okay. Come on. Where are you hiding? Get in cover, and we'll bust the door in. Hey, John, over here. You boys found my puppies watching. Kill much? Yeah, down the street. Trippy as Castlevania raising it. Trippy. Oh shit. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Next time Dutch can go and I'll have a drink. Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. Just keep your head down. I think that's all of them. Find their stash. Got to be around here. No place. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Nothing to show for it, Arthur. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the law. Let's go, maybe we're locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. We best stick to the side.
few rockstar short-sightedness of people in this game Keep your head. Act normal. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. There. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah! All right, yeah. let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I have the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, <laughs> the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the of that graveyard. That sounds so bad. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Watch Unbelievable. out! Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! 
Mom. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go Jeez. play now? Ah, so, well... Nothing for John? We met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I'm... I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Minutes get four headshots. Oh, 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 good. good to have you back, oh, kid. We yeah. missed you. Hey, hey, how about a song? Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Play us away. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Un par de ojitos negros y cielito lindo de contrabando. <laughs> oh, good. And the snooze. And I'll leave it there. Hi. Ready up. If you like my content, please like, comment, and sub. I'm out. Peace.